cultural issue in Iran. I'd like to hear from that. From you. Many of us are very concerned that Iran is pursuing a nuclear weapons capability. Congressman, we value your point of view and thank you for the opportunity today you give us. Before I start my question, I would like to ask you your point and your vision about Iran in general. I think my views reflect the views of most of the American people, and that is that we have a very basic affection for the Iranian people, a tremendous respect for the, uh, uh, the culture, the accomplishments, uh, the historic role of first Persia and now Iran uh, in world civilization. And as a congressman from Los Angeles, uh, we've had a particular opportunity to get to know uh, uh, many of the people who have come from Iran. And, uh, and we live and work and socialize uh, uh, with them. And that's just added to the respect and affection that we have for the Iranian people. Congressman, last couple of years, the world is worried about a uh, nuclear issue in Iran. Yes. I'd like to hear from that from you. Many of us are very concerned that Iran is pursuing a nuclear weapons capability. Uh, and that makes us nervous for several different reasons. Uh, the first reason is that when we hear some of the comments from uh, the current president of Iran, uh, President Ahmadinejad, uh, we worry whether or not he would actually use such a weapon. And this, of course, uh, causes uh, uh, great apprehension uh, in America and I think in many parts of the world. Secondly, if Iran pursues a nuclear weapons capability, then many other countries in that region will. It will be the end of the non-proliferation regime. President Obama has spoken about the need for the nuclear powers now to work towards ending nuclear weapons. If Iran gets a nuclear weapon, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Turkey, other countries in the region will also want a nuclear weapon. We will be going in the wrong direction for world peace and world stability. And, uh, and once many countries have nuclear weapons, the likelihood of their being used uh, grows tremendously. Uh, what about the recent diplomacy about this? Well, we're a little encouraged uh, by uh, uh, some of the uh, agreements that were made, agreements in principle that were made at the October, October 1st meeting of the, uh, what we call here the P5 plus one right. with the representatives of the Iranian government. Uh, because for the first time we had a sense that, it, that the Iranian government was willing to entertain taking some actions that might reverse the direction we see things going in. But I have to add, uh, words are cheap. And uh, for us, we want to see agreements written down and implemented. And we're going to be very suspicious until that happens. And that's the next step? or? What's the next step? Uh, on October 19th, uh, uh, rep technical experts from the uh, Security Council members plus Germany will get together with Iranian technical experts to discuss putting this agreement into specific words and including dates of implementation. Will Iran, in fact, allow much of their 
uranium that they've already enriched to be transferred to Russia for further enrichment, then given to France, where they will be put into fuel rods and set back to the uh, Iran in those fuel rods for the nuclear reactor in Tehran. This is only a small step, but it's an important one because it sets back the nuclear clock. Oh. And the Tehran reactor is under international safeguards. It is used for medical purposes. Those are good purposes. Uh, and every country wants to have the best technology possible uh, to uh, help the people who have cancer and who need the kinds of uh, medical isotopes that that reactor can produce. Of course. And um, how censor its uh, Iranian government about this matter, do you think? How, how sensitive are no. they? Well, uh, Iran says one thing. We only want to have enrichment and reprocessing for a peaceful program of nuclear energy. But the secrecy with which they've gone about it, their willingness to violate the treaty that they have signed, uh, the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, the failure to inform the IAEA, which is the enforcement agency for that treaty, of their different actions. They hid the Natanz reactor until uh, a dissident group exposed it. Until they held the, they, they concealed the construction of the nuclear facility at Qom uh, until they heard that we had learned about it and then late in September informed, of, uh, informed us of that reactor. These are actions inconsistent with their words. Uh, until Iran becomes totally transparent, until the Iranian regime reveals all aspects of their program, many of us are going to be suspicious that they're really pursuing a nuclear weapons capability. How much does the administration trust the Iranian regime? We don't we, very little, to be honest with you, and that's why uh, Ronald Reagan used to say, trust but verify. But uh, for us, with Iran, we start out looking at some of these actions, and we've, when, they, when they indicate a change in direction, we start out somewhat suspicious. But, but part of this administration's, President Obama's approach has been Let's see if we can work through this diplomatically. So we're willing to meet, to engage, uh, to, to, so. to, to deal with all of the issues that separate us from the Iranians in the hopes that we can resolve this issue. But, but, but we cannot forget recent history here, the efforts at concealment, uh, the kinds of actions the regime is taking uh, in a number of different areas as we deal with them. I would like to ask you uh, about um, Iranian domestic situation. Sure. And government respond. Well, we, uh, I think the whole world. I mean, the Iranian. Yeah, the whole, wor the whole world has been watching the Iranian regime's response to the recent elections. Uh, uh, a lot of us think there's evidence that the vote was rigged, that the suppression that took place against the Iranian people by the regime was brutal. Uh, uh, demonstrations broken up violently, peaceful demonstrations broken up violently, uh, massive arrests, in some cases people executed. Uh, efforts to shut down cell phone communication and computer, computer uh, text messaging. Uh, uh, the, re of, uh, the, the regime looks like it is treating the Iranian people as the enemy. And our hearts and our sympathies here are with the Iranian people. Yeah, yeah.